blends really perfectly. Wow, it smells a bit like herbals or like cat pee. Finally, one product that I'm not super excited about. I think it's some kind of Korean magic. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Julia and in today's video we are going to dive into Korean makeup. Last month I traveled to Seoul, Korea and I was so amazed by this country and by this city. And of course I went for shopping, I went looking for new cool makeup because Korea, as you know, is very famous for its cosmetics. I've tried a bit of Korean cosmetics before, but not so much, so I decided to go and buy the most popular products or products from very popular brands and we are going to try them now together. The first product that we are going to try is Perfect Cover BB Cream by Misha. It's the most popular BB cream in the world, if Google is right. So this is the color 21, lightest one. It's super, super light. It's written on the... Wow, it looks gray. But it usually happens with Korean beauty. Probably it's because they have a yellow undertone and so they want to get rid of it and use this grayish color. But I hope that it will go away when we blend it. So it says that it can cover wrinkles and blemishes. It's moisturizing and anti-aging. So this side I'm doing with a beauty blender and another one I'm going to do with my fingers. It smells okay, like some average cosmetic smell and I see how it really glows. Beauty blender eats a lot of it. It doesn't cover spots very well because you still can see through even if you put one more layer and even one more it will not varnish them. And this side I'm doing with my fingers, just tapping into the skin so this is it. I feel like I look a little bit grey really, but the glow and the feel of very moisturized skin is pretty nice. Let's cover all the blemishes that are still visible with Tony Moly Concealer. It's called Timeless Karat and it has liquid and stick concealer. I took the first shade of course, so it says that it's moisturizing and it has nice coverage. So I'll use stick concealer on this side. This lightest shade is a bit yellow for me, not so much. So yeah, looks not bad. And on this side I will use a liquid concealer. I don't know how much I need to put on, so I will start with this amount. It looks like it has a little bit more coverage than the stick concealer. I will put some as a base on my eyelids and now covering the spots. So we will try both as well. Okay, and uh, stick concealer. Not really so much coverage as I would love it to have. And one more time with the liquid concealer here. I definitely like liquid concealer more, but now I have both. Oh, why would you have both in one product? I really like how it looks, like very fresh and glowy. So the next step we are going to take is contour our face. We will use velvet like color stick by Misha in shade sepia filter. It looks like really natural color of contour stick. It goes really, really smoothly with no effort like butter. And I absolutely adore this shade. And a bit here. Time for blending. Love, love, love blending. Wow, this is so, so nice. It blends so easily. Even if you put very much product, it works perfectly. And the nose. So I bought three sticks from Misha. Another one is highlighter. It's in the shade K-Light and we're going to highlight. It feels the same, like super duper light, buttery-like, very soft and gentle and very natural. You're like glowing from within. And of course I put it a little bit here, on the bridge of the nose, on my upper lip and a bit on the chin. 
blends beautifully and it doesn't take away BB cream at all. Like they really perfectly work together. The next stick is blush. In color Our Promise, it's Misha too. Whoa, I like this color. So I go with the blush like almost everywhere. And now blending. I will do it with a brush this time. I love cream products very much, but it's really rare to find nice cream blush and this one is definitely very good. Fresh, beautiful and healthy. This look is my favorite one. And again, it works very nice with the foundation. Now moving to the next step, we are going to use this eyeliner from this brand 3CE. It's quite popular there in Korea. They have such beautiful stores. And this is the pencil. So what we are going to do is to use it here on the lash line and between the lashes as well and on the upper waterline. It goes very smoothly and very gentle. And now I will take this little smudger brush and just blend it a bit and do a little wing. And with a bigger brush, I will blend it even more. It will be the base for our eyeshadows. It blends so, so well, very nicely. And though it's waterproof, it's very easy to work with. And now I will clean it a bit. And we'll do the same on the other eye. You don't need to go here very accurately because you will blend it anyway. All of these products feels like really, really good quality. And I love it in Korean makeup that it's not pricey at all. Maybe this brand a bit pricey, but others are absolutely not. And clean it a bit again. It's really, really nice eyeliner. And the next step is eyeshadows. I will use this Etude House Rose Bone Palette. Look how gorgeous it is. I will begin with this Dusty Rose eyeshadows and we'll just put it everywhere on the eyelid, in the crease, in the outer corner and it blends so well. Like it blends absolutely heavenly. So pleasant to just blend these eyeshadows because they're just so great. I add a little bit more. And for the next color, I will use these pink eyeshadows with light shimmer and just blend it here. It's not super shimmery, but it looks really nice. Let's put this golden color in the inner corner of the eye. It's very subtle, very gentle. And for the price that you pay, I think it's perfect. I mean, it's like four times cheaper than some of European brands. But here, mattes are super, super cool. And one more color that we will use is this one, just classical beige. And I will put it under the brow, just to lift the brow, just to make my eyes look a bit bigger. And I blend it all together. Now we will try this Etude House Curl Fix Mascara. This is how it looks and the brush is a bit curly. So let's see if it really does the curl. Oh yeah, it does. Again, everything from Korean makeup is just so gentle, so subtle, so natural. It doesn't go clumpy. It's just super easy to apply. It doesn't give volume, it doesn't give length, but it really lifts the lashes up. I don't feel like I'm very excited about this mascara, but absolutely in love with the eyeshadows, though I didn't expect it to be anything. By the way, it smells really strange. Like I've never smelled something from cosmetics like this. It smells a bit like herbals or like cat pee. <laughs> so the mascara is okay but I'm not super excited about it. And the next step, we're going to do the brows in a free skinny brow pencil. Very popular brand there. I can't see what is the color of it. I think I just got the lightest one. And it's kind of a problem to find matching brow pencil in Korea because all of the pencils for blondes are yellow. This one is not yellow, but it's not blonde. Hmm, not bad. I think it's some kind of Korean magic. I don't understand it. Like all the products are super light and super natural and so easy to use, to blend, to put on. That's great. 
And this brush from the other end is really gentle, beautiful, natural brows. And this is the last product to try today. Espoir Couture Lip Fluid Velvet. The color Serenade. It smells like chewing gum, so sweet and really, really nice. When I was buying it, I was sure that it's dusty rose color. And it's not, but it's beautiful anyway. I will blend the edges because I usually like to wear my lipstick like this. I don't feel that it's a long-lasting formula, but it's very comfortable on the lips. And sometimes you just want comfort and not the bulletproof lipstick, so it depends what you like. I feel like I need to come back to my eye palette and add some other colors from there that will go with these coral lips. I will add this one. Blends really perfectly. So, so easy! So I really, really enjoyed trying all of these products and I will definitely use them again. Korea is so different, so beautiful country and their makeup is beautiful and different as well. I'm happy that I've been there and I hope to come again and I'm looking forward to trying some other Korean products as well. And if you like anything from Korean market as well, please comment below, let me know what are your favorites and I will try it too. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. <laughs>